Sometimes I sit and wonder where my little life went wrong. These old jailhouse blues have got me singing this here song. So today we're going to do a video on how to put together the Corunda beds. Uh, and this is the extra large. So the, the only difference I've seen between the extra large, large and mediums is the extra large has a, a, a heavier duty pipe on the side rails. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not down the inside. But uh, it's really the only difference, a little bit taller and obviously wider. But uh, we're gonna throw it together real quick and see how it goes. So all he's doing now is the rods come in the fabric part of it when you get your shipment. You're just sticking the long ones on the long sides and the short ones on the short sides. It's a pretty simple setup. It's not real hard to put together. The hardest part is getting the lock washer on the actual feet and all the clamps to hold it together. But other than that, it's, it's pretty quick to put together. So now we're gonna make sure also when you're putting the bed together that you don't have it upside down. Um, the Extra large is a little different fabric than the medium and the small for some reason, and the large. But um, you just gotta make sure it's right side up. The tag usually goes down, so when you're putting it together, make sure you have the tag down. So all you do now is just slide it in. Inch by inch, like a gentleman. And then, it's terrible. Um, it's pretty easy. My unpaid intern is not very good at what he does, but he's here. Um, <laughs> just slides in. So on this part right here, all you need really is a screwdriver, crescent wrench, or a pair of channel locks, or whatever you want to use. You can do a socket too, but I'm lazy, so we're not. Um, this is a little bit tricky here. The first one goes on pretty good, but the rest are a little bit harder. So what we do is usually, if we can't get it started, the first time we'll take a screwdriver and run straight through it and then pull it out and put the, the bolt back in like this right here. It helps line the all pieces together. And we just we just barely tighten the nuts up on them so we can actually uh, maneuver the other ones around a little bit and then we'll tighten it down when we get finished with the whole thing. So here's a side by side of a large and an extra large. Obviously the extra large is to my left and uh, this large is on your right. The main difference really is the height of the extra large and then that's about it. Um, as far as that, they go together the same exact way and perform the same. They have a year warranty and I've had several pretty Pretty rough dogs in the kennels. I haven't had a lot of issue with them yet. A little bit of scratches on them, but uh, the fabric's not tore for one, so that's a plus. And that's about it. So here's a little comparison of the Caranda, Caranda, however you want to pronounce it, and the Cooler Beds. The Cooler Beds are super cheap. They're about 30 odd dollars. That's a, a medium and a large. And then that's an extra large and a large. Um, Definitely, these things do not last. If a dog chews a lot, you can already see what it started chewing at, and I caught it before it got too bad. Um, these are a little harder to put together because you have to stretch the fabric. It's not, you know, it's not too hard, but you can do it. But they're not built very sturdy. The legs and stuff are the bolts or um, hex head, so they usually strip out pretty easy because you got a really cheap wrench they send with it. The fabric's replaceable, but if you have to do it every time you kennel a dog, then you pretty much waste money on it. Um, the extra large, if you have a heavy dog like this one, it gets bent like that side right there. So they're not really strong because they're the sp spanned on them so far. But with the Corunda beds, they have the metal inside them, so 
that allows you to keep the stability of it. Thank you.